Hey guys and gals, Gunshy Mori here, back with another episode of my journey here on the island. And today, what we're going to be doing is finishing up farming out metal here on the island. Now, I did go out and I did tame up an Ankylosaurus. Um, I did record it as a video, but sadly, I didn't feel like I put enough effort into that video. So yeah, this is going to be our third episode here. But yeah, I got an Anki. We're going to be using that here to assist us in gathering these metal nodes. Um, I do got two forges placed down on my raft. So once we get all that metal here and loaded up into those forges, we should be good to leave Herbivore Island. And I think that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, for those of you that are wondering how I'm harvesting these metal nodes with an Anki without a saddle, all I'm doing is putting his behave behavior, uh, allowing wandering. Then I am whistling him, allowing him to follow up to me until we get like on the metal node. And then you just unwhistle him and he will immediately start hitting the closest metal node. Um, but do keep in mind, you have to have him within distance to hit or he's actually just going to start walking away or he'll walk close enough to the metal node to break it. But as you guys can see there, that is our first metal node and we got a good chunk there. I am going to increase his melee just because that does help with how much you get out of the metal nodes. But do keep in mind, if you go too much into melee, it stops helping and actually makes you get less metal. Now, one thing I didn't expect to happen was uh, my Ankylosaurus started attacking a trike on accident. Anki, you are going to have to fight this fight and win. Because you're actually, actually starting to win. I ain't going to lie. I could help you. But do I? Yes. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me. This is a... Uh, this has gone worst case scenario right here. We're about to lose our Ankylosaurus. And uh, there's nothing I can do. Except... Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no. This might be time to leave this island. Oh no. My Ankylosaurus is getting jumped right now by trikes, and I got a Stego chasing me. Anki, Anki, buddy, homeboy, I need you to follow me. We gotta run, because it is time to leave the island. I I whistled passive. He should, he should just break off here. Oh no. Come on, dude. Just attack him at this point. Get a swing out, Anki. Come on, you can at least get a swing out on him. Uh, and I keep on shooting my Trank Darts. Oh, this went bad quick. Did we lose the Anki yet? No. Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, oh. All right, dude. I need you to chase after me. We are leaving. We got to get away from that Stego real quick. Oh, he's attacking my Anki. That's the problem. There we go. This actually might turn out good still. My Anki is not looking good. Oh, ow. What was that? Oh, the Stego just killed my Anki. Oh, and it was a trike. Okay, we got a problem. Is everything still mad at me? We just lost our Anki. Oh, no. Oh, no. I did not expect that to happen within the first three minutes of this video. So, the thing I tamed up last, well, in between these episodes here just died. Great. At least we got some metal out of it. Now, I won't lie, that was kind of a bad decision on my part, letting an Anki swing its tail in such a clustered area. But, come on, game, really? Now, I'm not going to worry too much about the metal, I'm just irritated that we got the we lost that anki i did already get one you know round of harvesting the metal nodes on this island done with it so we did get a somewhat nice chunk of metal it's just yeah i was hoping to get an even nicer chunk of metal before we left but i think yeah we're just gonna we're gonna leave her before island because i do not plan on building here anymore i think what i'm gonna do is kind of move over to the Red Obelisk area, find a nice spot over by Red Ob. 
Uh, okay, we're on the raft. Give you half the metal. Give you the other half of the metal. Now, they still have some left over from the last run, but... Yeah, this is the nice chunk I got last time. Sadly, we are going to miss out on, again, getting another nice chunk. Now, I could technically go tame up another Anki, in which... Do I want to do that, or do I just want to head out? Because that was my main goal for today, was to actually head out and not worry about taming up another Anki. Because that's why I felt like the last episode was boring, because it was literally just the entire episode of me taming up one Anki running around getting resources while I was waiting. So, um, I think this is gonna, this is gonna probably be our end of the stay here at, you know, Herbivore Island. I think we're gonna head back over towards Red Obelisk, back over towards where we spawned. Now, here's the scariest part about taking the raft away from Herbivore Island. I have to cross water that's deep enough for a lead sick fish to come up and attack me. In which, yeah, that's never good. Because... They oh oh no why 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 did I even have to mention it? Lead lead go away go away go go shoo shoo shoo. <sighs> See what I said? <laughs> I, this day is starting to look like we are gonna have the worst luck possible. Okay, so we've gotten about halfway there without running into any more trouble. Um, we might, though. I keep on seeing something pop out here. I think that's one of the... Yeah, it's just one of... The... They're they're passive. They shouldn't attack us. It's just one of the sea dragons. Um, but once we get down here to the red obelisk, I don't think I mentioned this. The base that we're going to be building down here is just going to be temporary. Because I do want to do one on mainland. Now, the main area where I want to actually build my base, it's... It's still in question whether or not I want to attempt this, but it's kind of that lake over by Green Ob and in between the mountain. It's the large lake, not the small one. If you guys know what I'm talking about there, you'll see it. I'll have a screenshot up on screen here, but yeah, that's where I'm thinking about building my main base. So the one that we're going to build today down here by Red Ob, this is just going to be a you know, temporary base, it's just somewhere mainland. Where I can, you know, start getting progress, getting the resource harvesting creatures, and, you know, just a safe place to respawn. So, now, for you guys that were wondering where I was going to be building my temporary base, it's going to literally be here at spawn. This is where we spawned, alright? I have literally just went over to her before island, got metal, and come back in the span of these last three episodes. No joke. Um... But yeah, so to start out with here, I think I'm going to get me some wood foundations made up. I don't want to go too big. I think we're going to probably only go like two by two, like if anything. Well, I think I need more than two by two. We might go three by four or something like that. You guys want to know something that I didn't think of until just right now? We've been doing pretty good on the boat thus far. Now, I generally try not to make like boats like entirely bases usually it's just for minor transport to get me to a base location or to like get me place to place easily but like something's calling me to maybe build up the boat i'm not saying this is a hundred percent we're still gonna build a little shack here on the you know island or like on the mainland because that we we 100 we need that because i need dino storage all right the only way I can get decent dino storage made up is if I have a nice solid ground to build it on. Now not that I've thought of it more, guys, the boat idea is kind of dumb. Because that would be putting my entire base literally on one support. That is the actual raft. Now if the raft is ever destroyed by lead thickness or whatever, like my entire base would be gone. So this is definitely better. So. We're going to not even think about that anymore. But as you guys can see here, I have gotten my wood transferred over. I am going to get my metal up and going, refining again. I am going to kind of tear down the thatch structure on the raft as well. And we're going to also put up some walls here just so that way we have a little bit of a safe box. So I'm putting up the last of the walls now for the base. 
But one little thing here I want to do just because I saw it while I was getting resources for the walls. There is a level 55 pterodon just on the outside of my base right now. And I got me some bolas here and I just need to grab my trank arrows and bow out of here. Luckily, we still have some arrows after that fiasco at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> Otherwise, this would not be possible right now. I'm really hoping that the amount of arrows I have works. But that pterodon is just somewhere over here. Unless he took off. He might have taken off. He was just right over here. Oh, is that him there? That is him. This green and purple. I really like the colors too. This is the one I was looking at. It's more of a green and blue. But here we go. Level 55 female pterodon. Now, I'm feeling like our luck has started to turn around from the beginning of this episode. Where we lost ourselves in Anki. And then almost got attacked by a lead sick this. I mean, we got a base built up in a nice decent spot. And we just got a level 55 pterodon knocked out. I'm saying things have started to turn around. Now as well, I am doing a little bit of sorting of my resources while I wait for my pterodon to starve up. What I'm going to be doing is keeping all like my, you know, stuff I really don't need to sort right now in my smithy. Also, I almost just spilt my pop everywhere. That was a close one. And as well, anything else such as like blueprints or anything that I'm going to start getting from running out and getting drops. Once these pterodons get, or that pterodon gets tamed up, we'll be going in here. Now I do got one as well where I'm going to be throwing my extra equipment, like my own personal equipment, stuff I've picked out for myself. That's what this far left one is here. But hopefully here we can start filling up these other two with some decent drops and other stuff. Okay guys, hold up. We got a second pterodon showing up. <sighs> Please be a good level male. Yep. I knew our luck wasn't going to be that good. Get out of here. Scram. There you go. Yeah. That should get it out of our hair. Did we already collect this one? We did. Also. Oh my. Use a. Use a big fish. What is you? You were a 3.7. Hold up. Oh no. I don't want to worry about it. I was thinking about getting a fishing basket. But, like, if you guys were back on ASC and you were going to plan on taming up a Shadow Main, this would be the guy you were hunting. Alright? This would be, like, the best fish to get. But, damn, he junky. Okay, guys. So, I believe we've left our Pterodon here to starve up enough for us to give it the raw meat. And it should almost tame up immediately here. We might have to wait a little bit extra here. Yeah, it looks like we are. We might have to... Oh, it only got halfway out of that. Yeah, we're going to have to go actually give it some narcotics. I wasn't thinking we were going to have to do that. Um, we might not have had to if I waited a little longer there, though. Um, let me get them for it. Now, I'm not going overboard on the amount of narcotics it needs at the moment. Because it should be done here soon. I'm just going to mash in these five narcotics. That should get it up to at least 300 again, if I've done my math correctly in my head. No joke, my math could not have been more spot on. That it got up to 326 for Torpor, then started dropping back down. So, that was epic. So this gal should only take me about another two minutes. I got my raft taken down, and I got all my dinos up. Oh, and also another thing here that I did while we were waiting on the Pterodon was I got a Lystro. The reason I did this is just so that way once the Pterodon's tamed up, I can get it next to the Lystro. Pet the Lystro, and it will give them a little XP buff, as you can see there, which is always good to have. Now, our Pterodon is almost done here. We're waiting on one last feed, so this should be done within the last minute. Now, I would like to get a saddle for it. Unfortunately, I don't know if I have the stuff for a Pterodon saddle. And also, I keep on clicking on cosmetics on accident. Can I even craft a pterodon saddle yet? No, I cannot. Okay. Um, I have to be level 38. Now, that's the actual same level that I had to be to get the Ankylosaurus saddle. Isn't it? No, Anki's level 36. Oh, I have to get to level 38. Okay. We're only four off. That's not bad, but 
Sadly, does not look like we're going to be taking flight this episode. But we will at least have a flyer ready to go once we do get the, you know, access to the blueprint. Or maybe even, uh, no, because we won't be able to go out and actually efficiently search for drops like I wanted to now. But, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So, we got the pterodon finished up now. I've got it moved over to the base. Or at least where I'm going to have the base finished. But I think we are going to be done for today. We did get a decent chunk of progress done today. We got all the way back over from Herbivore Island to where we spawned. And we got a nice little base set up. And as you guys may notice, I have started setting up defenses. Now, I really don't think I'm going to need them here. These are more just in case, say, like Dilophosaurus is and uh, maybe even a Spino if it wanders over. Like, don't immediately get into all my creatures and kill them, even though, yeah. But I think, yeah, this is going to be where we call it. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, remember to share this video with your friends and family. That does really help me out in the algorithm. And as well, ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah. This has been Gunshy Mori, guys and gals, signing out. <laughs>